Welcome, thank you for tuning in Neptune Knife. So today I thought I'd go over a little bit more of what this little uh, survival keychain that me and Mel pack uh, can do. This isn't paracord, this is a, I think four millimeter rope, a climbing rope, which is still paracord inside. There's still the strands that you can use, but there's more strands and the weight uh, goes up much more what this rope can handle. And it's more a little bit easier to climb and uh, much more uh, versatile in terms of like of those applications. And uh, so, okay, so first, you know, I thought let's, let's, I want to do a little quick little example of uh, uh, striking the fire steel. Now, uh, there's other options for fire steels. Uh, peanut lighters, those evaporate. Um, even though they have an O-ring, they still can evaporate. Um, and there's other ones you can get. Uh, let me show, for example, Mel's. Like this one right here where, uh, let's see, the arrows. You find the arrow and you, you pull it down and it makes the sparks like that. But it's kind of tough because, I mean, depending on what you're lighting, like if you have a little, uh, little gas, a uh, butane lighter, a uh, stove, a portable stove, you try to do that, you know, you get kind of close. And I would say that it doesn't concentrate the sparks, it's not as much sparks as a fire steel. And what I like about fire steel is because there is a hole, you can wear it as a necklace, you can, you know, you tie it to your neck, you could tie it to things just in case. And also the newer uh, Light My Fire fire steels um, have a whistle that comes as the striker. Uh, but I feel the Light My Fire fire steel strikers kind of suck. It's just better to use uh, uh, some, a rough metal edge or your you know, your pocket knife. So I'm going to show, for example, me using this. And in today's video, I'm going to do it mostly with just what you see here. Okay, so it's starting to get dark here. So for this, I'm just going to use this little goofy, uh, uh, to me, I think it's, I forgot this what this is called, hemp cord or cord? Twine. Twine, but let me see if I can get the get mouse, mouse right here. Back up. Yes. Okay, and uh, you know a cool thing to note is you could on these keychains put a little dragonfly. Now come down here, Mel. No, I'm not trying to actually get a full fire going here. This is just for just to show. Now, uh, of course, you gotta open it up. Now, I mean, there's lots of videos on technique uh, to start a fire, but you know, I thought maybe I'd just kind of cover this anyway. So here, here, put down here. Can you see it there? Yeah. Okay. Got a little bundled up more than I would like. Yeah, get the space it out so that there's you know the heat's touching much surface area and more oxygen get to it okay so it looks like that okay you see okay now the, the point is now which I have actually on mine as my cord now uh, let's see what I want to show is this okay uh, let me take the scraper off I see a lot of people when they when they do it let me show my pocket knife for example first when they scrape what they try to do is they they, they try to, to get the sparks to go, okay, first of all, you should use the back of blade tang, but this is stone washed by myself, homemade, so it's all soft edge. Uh, maybe I'll sharpen that later, but for right now, I'm gonna have to use the blade edge, okay? But regardless, you can see like, what they try to do is they try to, you watching? They try to shoot the sparks towards it. That's kind of, to me, like it works, but it's like a kind of a waste. You can see like here, like I was trying to, okay. Okay, see, so it works, but a much more, it's just simple, kind of like more conservative way. Uh, I, I find it works much better. Is and this that stuff is nice. You can relight it. You can get close. Is you just put the fire seal down on what you want to light. Let's see if we can get a little, uh, a little hard surface. Uh, okay. Here. Okay. So you put the fire seal directly on to what you want to light. Can you get the in here? Mm -hmm. I use my flashlight. Well, here. See, this is why. Flashlight. Okay. So. Okay. You put it directly onto what you want to light, rather than try to shoot it at it, and then you just scrape down. You see, and then all the sparks go directly at what you're trying to light. Okay. So that's that's a, for me a little way to do. Uh, these little clips can unclip off. These all come with the, the light my fire fire steels. Um, now other things that this little cool little keychain has is that I've shown this before, but there's a whistle, of course. You know, I can blow it, I guess. But <whistles> this little flashlight. That's uh, I like these uh, Phoenix uh, little flashlights because the, I think the teal ones because they're they're waterproof and they last for 20 hours on one AAA, um, and and you can like quietly operate them. Normally speaking, you know, I would put ranger bands to tie all this down so it wouldn't rattle. I got my Strider keychain tool, my little pry bar, and a little sharpening thing for my pocket knife. Uh, so let's just show some of the capabilities of the, maybe the diamond saw and why I choose this one. Pause. So what I like is, okay, I see a lot of people use the folding ones. They have a little joint right here and a kind of cheap plastic handles. 
and they have like wood saw prongs and those are good for yeah cutting wood but uh, you can't really get a good hold on it you know and this doesn't hurt me because this is just a carbide edge on a, on a piece of iron and I use this as my scraper when I use my fire seal because uh, this edge that you know I, I form can scrape it let's see well see so what I do can you see this Mel's using her flashlight now what's nice is not only can this this diamond saw saw through whatever normal wood but of course diamond saw can saw through iron pipes uh, any kind of metal object even those Coglin wire saws don't do the job as well because the wire saws uh, when the heat builds up uh, if you were to try to saw uh, through metal um, they can eventually snap quite quickly so let's see I will note that this is one I use so this one has seen a lot of wear. Uh, you can see it's, it's cutting here. You getting here, Mel? Mm -hmm. You can see it's cutting halfway. So you can see these little Boker Vox access pry bars are nice because you can take them off your keychain. And also to note, they have a little glass breaker, nail puller, oh, lots of pretty cool stuff. But regardless, in here. So I'll use my flashlight. I need yours now. So if I only had my keychain on me, you know, if I had to pry a door, let's see. So it can bend. Let's see. Let's try a. So if I had to pry wood, let's see if I can get some results here. Oh, sorry, I'm not using the light. See? A little bent. It's fine, it's still functional. The point being is that if I didn't have, you know, if I pack my dragonfly onto the keychain, that's great. But if I don't, and this is all I have, you know, then, you know, it's, it's a pretty pretty functional you see you can get in this wood with this scrape a scrape a notch and then pry it out but basically I'm just I'm making a groove with the edge of the pry bar and it doesn't hurt my hand really see not bad let's get those o-rings once I can get deep enough you know well I have to keep going deeper but you get the idea apologize it's getting dark so then you know we're doing this in the dark. You can see um, they have different grades of uh, steel. This one can bend and keeps bending back and forth. Um, but I'm just gonna taper that down anyway. Regardless, this this is a, a nice tool, and they have better quality versions, different ones. Mm, I like this one just because you can just detach it from your keyring. Let's see what else we got. Now, I guess one of the main things you know, if if safety is a concern, you can use all these to create a weapon, a makeshift weapon. Uh, what I like is, believe it or not, is you could make a nunchuck. The diamond sh rod is just to reprofile, sharpen it, and you could sharpen the different edges if you wanted to. You could take this, are you looking? You could take this edge on your diamond rod and sharpen it down to an actual edge to, sh to cut with if you had to, or even that edge, to turn it into a knife. But this is predominantly used for my pocket knives, so that I can sharpen it in the field. Like I said, so I have 21 hours of light with this flashlight. I think if I use lithium, maybe a little more. So you can imagine if you look at this, you have Tinder Fire Striker, Diamond Saw to saw through wood, metal. You could sharpen it and turn it into a cutting edge if you had to, a slight cutting edge. You have your striker, you have your pry bar, uh, nail pullers, can opener. Right here is the can opener. There's a little spring you, that's in the can opener in there. Glass breaker. You have a, a I have a ranger band here, but that's just to keep it silent. A whistle. Climbing rope, cordage in there, uh, wire cordage, all on this little keychain that can fit. Let's see. Shine on me now. Just on a person like that. And it's nice when you're walking, you know, it lights the ground. And I like this a little bit better than using a paracord bracelet because a paracord bracelet, you know, me and Mel, when we climb, you know, if your hands are rubbing against things, they, they, uh, they get, you know, rub, they wear out too fast. So this way it stays all in, on your, in front of you on your side. Um, and these clips, if you get them from Home Depot, they can be a, 
60 pounds of weight they can hold. Um, some people have requested that we make this and sell it, uh, but the truth is this is an expensive kit. These are all like, very expensive things. Spider wire, um, perhaps it'd be more affordable yeah, to buy spider wire in itself, you have to buy a big spool. So maybe I could do that. Climbing rope, I can get that. These I can get. But these come all separate. These, these diamond sharpening rods are $15 at the hardware stores. Uh, the line of fires, you know, could be done. The whistle and the flashlight. It's still quite a, and then this comes from a Benchmade uh, mini uh, uh, knife tool uh, to, put, to take apart knives and put together knives. So it is a, it is a lot of more nicer end products. There, like I said, there is, we have, me and Mel have a government grade, uh, much stronger steel pry bars than this one. But I, I like this one because it has a little more versatility in the can opener and it's compact. And I, I never really care because like I said, there's that, that thinness that they taper it down to. But once I, I break down that thinness over here, then it'll be stiffer and tougher. So, eh, no big deal. When you do have all these things tied together with the Ranger band, it's silent. And typically what I just do is I try to get one side all clamped down and then have the other side so I can hold it and aim it. But the point is, if you are using it to look around, you can go like this and walk around still. And, or you can just let it dangle your feet and still see where your feet are going. But then if, if in the event you say you fall or trip, or you know, or something were to happen, you wouldn't drop your flashlight because it's connected to your keychain. So it's much more functional than keeping it in your hands. And I always tell Mel, you gotta keep your hands free when you're, you know, depending on the situation. Okay. So now that we're back aside, uh, a little more lighting. You can see my little mess right here. I thought I'd go over more in depth. So for example, like uh, about the little keychain. So for example, you see right here, this one I used. See a bend right there. But you see that the extra structure where this part's fine, you know, it's three millimeters. But you can see there's these other options, thinner but made of a stronger steel. Uh, and uh, you see, so there, there's other ways. Uh, but like I said, this one doesn't have a can opener. But is a can opener that necessary? Mm, probably not. I mean, I mean, you could open up a can by just scraping it on the concrete or something, you know. I mean, there's many ways to go around that. Uh, maybe I'll switch them out, you know. Just, it's really just personal preference between these two versions. Uh, these Boker ones are much easier to get hold of though, and I do like that you can quickly remove them from your keychain, but you can always just remove it with the little, little keychain ring. Now, uh, I was saying, for example, uh, uh, you know, Dragonfly could be good here. Now, um, some of the things that you might be considering you're missing is uh, water. If you don't have a container, then, then perhaps your best option is packing wire pills and putting it in a waterproof pill case. Uh, even though these are sealed, you know, hey, you can use this. They have different sizes, a large one. Um, you can get this kind style, they don't have the O-rings, but they're not really wireproof, they're wire resistant. Do not buy GoingGear.com stuff. Their, their products, they, they get jammed, they get stuck. They're, either they slide off too easy like this one, you know, but you have a deep, but then a small shallow cap, so you can put a lot in here, but this unscrews very easily. Uh, and, or they can be like this one, which is like their most beefy version. You can see mine's all jacked up because this is aircraft aluminum and the top got stuck and I started taking all kind of tools to it to try to see if I could break through it and uh, your stuff will contents will get stuck inside best actually I, I prefer is the Delrin style these are again US government stuff this is like a it's like a, it's a kind of synthetic material that it isn't metal very lightweight but uh, it can't jam on you so that's very good so you can put that on there put some wire pills in there if you had to and then now you got that cover because if you don't have a metal container boiling water is going to be tough you can always you know, create fire and get the carbon, but if you want to, like, uh, get your water purified, you might have the best choice of just doing this and putting some pills inside. Uh, because, I mean, if you had to use a wooden bowl or some sort of ladle or some, some you know, get a piece of bark that's curved to drink, um, it, since you don't have a metal container. But for me, you know, uh, I always have my container with me. Now, um, so like you can see here, so you saw that you have fire, and then, you know, I, I have this right now because I was just testing with it, but normally just a cord. Uh, that you can unclip and clip on, you know, I just tie it through a knot like this, you know, you just pull it through, back out, okay? Um, you have, you say you have the diamond saw, the sharpening rod that comes from these little, uh, these little Benchmade tools right here, you know, the sharpening rods. I think I took it off this one, so I took it off this one and put it on the keychain. Um, and then you can see, uh, so for example, now inside this lanyard, you can see there's some pretty cool stuff. Now, so you're saying, okay, so you got... And so far, you know, survival settings pr pretty good covered. Now you have the keychain. So here's one I have right here at home. Let's get some better light. The best light I can get. Okay. And you can see the keychain. 
And this is oh, these are new fire steels 2.0, the one that comes whistles. But like I said, that striker is kind of weak. And if you're gonna have the the, the diamond uh, saw, you know, even in props, even the edge of this, you know, and you have your diamond sh sharpener, you should be able to get sparks. But regardless, so this is like I said, one of these. Uh, me and Mel, we gun coat it so you don't have to worry about rust as much. More rust resistant and it's self lubricating, so it's much smoother. And you can see, so here's a little lanyard. You know, this is about a good, I don't know, eight feet of rope right here. But you can see now, once I unravel it, now I like to do it this style. You know, you can see where uh, um, you, know, you just, you just, in the end, you just slide it through those those holes, uh, the, the loops. But when you unravel it, it's just quick. Okay, now inside it's pretty compact. Inside here, you can see now. Now people, some people use foil. Foil you can't, you can't really cook with foil. Foil will just burn, and there will be a hole in your foil very quickly. I mean, it's a nice idea to be able to think, oh, you could boil water in foil, but if you ever tried it, no, the foil will just burn a hole through. Um, I mean, I guess if you suspend it enough, uh, but trying to, I would, I would, I consider it, you know, aluminum foil. Right now, I just have duct tape, uh, just, just to hold together, just to get the idea across. Um, I mean, water pills, foil, your choice. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to use a pill case, go for the water pills. And, you know, if you're gonna, if you're not, maybe consider wrapping this in foil, just so you have some sheet possible of possibly holding some water. But I, I, it's not realistic. Now, people pack fishing hooks and stuff. Well, in here, is right, right now. This is actually now 20 feet of spider wire that can hold up to 130 pounds. Uh, you, you know, yeah, and. Um, and so that can do quite a lot. Uh, lots of, you know, of course, cordage, uh, fishing line. I got my uh, uh, hemp cord right here, so you can use Tinder. Okay, okay, and then you can see it caught on fire, but you can do it again and again. So this this uh, twine stuff is pretty good for flammability. Now, and also here is about two feet of rebar tie wire. That's metal wire that you can bend and it's flexible. Uh, you know, whether, I don't know, you use it for cooking, to make fish hooks. So you could just take the metal wire, bend it into a hook shape. Now, this is a little exaggerated, but, you know, make a little loop end. Uh, you know, just bend it back for the break it or use your diamond saw to cut it. Use your sharpening rod to sharpen a tip, you know, and then create two or three, dangle them and have them all jangle, you know, around. And then, um, People see in, I see in survival kits, people say that those survival kits with fish hooks don't work because they don't have floaters. You need a floater so that when you throw your line out, it will float in a spot and then drop down so your hook will so it'll be out further. Um, but that, that's kind of silly too because you could just use like a piece of wood. Like that's like over, the floater thing, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, they didn't think that far. But yeah, you could just use a piece of wood and just tie the string, your, your, your fishing line to the piece of wood and part way through and then have the rest dangling. You could put more spire wire. Like I said, there's some options here and then it'll just hang and, and then of course you can fish and use worms I mean my mom used to use uh, rose thorn bushes for fishing uh, hooks um, you know back in the day so you can see here there's so many options um, there's other ways to bind this together but regardless you have a variety of cordage you have your paracord with the strands in it preferably the climbing style I just did this to show you have this little keychain thing that can hold uh, 60 pounds now you have your fire striker you have some tinder right here you have a tie wire, to, that's metal wire that you can use for a variety of things. You have an industrial si uh, strength uh, metal saw that can saw through uh, basically anything metal quite fast. Um, and then on top of that, this, it's easy to handle, won't cut you. And if you had to, not only is this edge, you know, you, you could scrape, but you could consider sharpening it with your little sharpening tool right here. Uh, and yeah, there's other uh, sharpening bits and tools, uh, little portable ones, but I like the compactness of this. Um, a little more minimalistic. You got 21 hours of waterproof light. Um, it'll be silent when all connected together. Then you have in, you know, inside lanterns, all that. Then you have this pry bar, can opener, uh, you know, glass breaker, uh, just a multi axis tool, and your tools for your pocket knife. And and you should have your pocket knife too. And if you did have a little waterproof container, you could use these, like I said, as a uh, floating device uh, for your fishing line. And then inside that, put some water, uh, water purifying pills. So that you could, uh, um, you know, if you don't have a container on you, you would be able to find like a makeshift sort of bowl shape, uh, perhaps something you could find to put your water in and then purify it at least so that you could drink it. And then you know, use the carbon to uh, completely purify it if you had to. So, 
that's our little mini survival uh, EDC kit um, keychain. It's uh, it's definitely one of the, the best aspects we feel of our kits, and um, we'll we'll put a um, let's go. Uh, you guys have some requests, and perhaps maybe we could look. I could look at some ways to put it together, but uh, there's so much possibilities with this, um, and you can see. Uh, this is, this is a great thing to have because said it is hands free it's on you you know you won't you won't drop it um, it's not in a little container it's something that you can is there at that moment you have ready to go you need to use a pry bar immediately you unpry it uh, you, you unclip it and pry with it you need your flashlight just turn on it, it lights up your feet area and and then if you had to you could uh, aim it and like I said if you fall you won't drop it and then you have some options for pry bars you, know, you, you get lots of little things. There's so many little, little aspects you could do here. I mean, these two rings uh, can be two th rings for your fingers. So you could use that as perhaps ways to to uh, come up with some interesting tools. Uh, there's just a lot a lot of possibilities in this small um, amount of uh, space. I mean, in the end, what you look at all this put together is basically something like that. You know, and. Uh, and if you had to, you could put one of these. These you know, it has to be. It doesn't have to be this big. Like I said, a little Delmer and pill one, lighter weight, like that. And uh, that's it. And this is inside here. These are inside this. See. So, uh, I hope this was enjoyable. So it goes in a little more depth about it. And uh, I hope this was helpful. And until uh, next time, uh, thank you for tuning in. Okay, bye. Bye.